Recently I was looking through a men's magazine and there was this big article in there about how to be a man. It said some stuff like real men don't drink white wine, that two men shouldn't ever share an umbrella, and that a real man should be able to close one eye, look at the position of the sun, and tell you what time of day it is. When I was a little kid, I recall looking forward to being a man. I used to watch the men work in my dad's office and see men reading the newspaper on park benches and see the men on TV. Men smelled like aftershave and wore neckties and drank black coffee out of styrofoam cups. Men worked on big important projects on big expensive computers and wrote big important books about big impressive subjects, and men were responsible and patriotic and interested in world events and would gallantly take control of everything if you ever fell off your bicycle. The life of a man at leisure looked pretty interesting too. I used to pick the lock on my dad's closet to get to his big stack of old Playboy magazines, and I thought my future life as a man was going to look like this, this, and this. Like I said, I was looking forward to being a man. By all popular biological definitions, I am now a man, and I'm still trying to figure out what I think about this. The role of man has changed a lot, and being a man is nothing like I thought it would be. I wonder if anyone else thinks it's kind of a confusing time to be a man. On one hand, I think it's kind of cool that the former roles of men and women have become a lot less defined, but on the other hand, I always feel sort of cool whenever I'm working with power tools. And on one hand, I think it's healthy that it's now far more acceptable for a man to express his sensitive side, but on the other hand, I always get sort of disturbed when I see a band that sounds like they have one testicle at most to share between themselves. On one hand, I never really related to the classic image of the macho man, but on the other hand, it's still a little disappointing to grow up expecting this and to come of age in an era of this. On one hand, I'm really quite happy that the balance of power between men and women is a lot more equal than it used to be, but on the other hand, I really dislike it when high-octane turbo-feminists seem to automatically assume that all men are chauvinistic pigs. But on the other hand still, whenever I encounter any average frat boys, it's usually a little easier to see their point. I don't think I've heard anybody specifically griping about losing their sense of masculinity, but I do think it's kind of interesting that AskMen.com voted Don Draper as the most influential man of 2009. I also think it's interesting that Dockers has these advertisements that say, wear the pants, and that an Old Spice soap on a rope, which has been discontinued since 1991, will on average sell for 30 bucks on eBay. I don't know how seriously anyone would take an article called How to Be a Man, but Esquire certainly seems to think that a lot of men have forgotten. In the movies, the young boy goes on a great adventure, and this is his rites of passage to become a man. I wonder if I should have made more of an effort to go on a great adventure, because so far being a man doesn't feel much different than being an old kid. Anyway, that's what I think about this. Well, at least I'm pretty sure that's what I think about this. Actually, to tell you the truth, I have no idea what I think about this.